Hi, friends. Welcome back and blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I have a specific word for someone today. And if this word is for you, you'll know that you'll know that you'll know that it's for you because it won't be me speaking. It will be the spirit of the Lord speaking to you through this message. And I pray that this blesses you in the name of Jesus. So this is coming from a scripture. It's Second Chronicles and it's chapter 25. And here we see uh, during this time was when the kingdom was split in two. So it was split into the kingdom of Judah and then the kingdom of Israel. And we see Amaziah is one of the kings of Judah. And um, he says in verse, I'm going to start reading in verse 5. So this is Second Chronicles 25 verse 5. Then Amaziah organized the army, assigning generals and captains for all Judah and Benjamin. He took a census and found that he had an army of 300,000 select troops, 20 years and older, all trained in the use of spear and shield. He also paid about 7,500 pounds of silver to hire 100,000 experienced fighting men from Israel. So we see here Amaziah, king of Judah, he's taking a census of the fighting men so that he can gather them together to prepare for battle, to prepare for war. And although he has 300,000 troops himself there in Judah, he decides to also hire and pay for 100,000 experienced fighters from the men of Israel, another nation. And it says in verse seven, but a man of God came to him and said, your majesty, do not hire troops from Israel for the Lord is not with Israel. He will not help those people of Ephraim. If you let them go with your troops into battle, you will be defeated by the enemy, no matter how well you fight. God will overthrow you for he has the power to help you or to trip you up. So the man of God is confronting Amaziah and he's telling him, God has not blessed these troops from Israel. God is not with them. So he's telling him, don't take these troops with you from Israel into battle because you're not going to be victorious if you take them along. And in verse nine, Amaziah asked the man of God, but what about all the silver I paid to hire the army of Israel? So what Amaziah is concerned with here is that he has already invested so much money. He has already paid these troops from Israel and invested all this money, all this silver into hiring them. He's, he's concerned about what he's going to lose because he's already invested so much of them. He's concerned about what he's going to lose if he lets them go. And it says, the man of God replied, the Lord is able to give you much more than this. The Lord is able to give you much more than this. And so what the Lord had been speaking to me through the scripture is that there are some of you who have been trying to take along something. It could be some particular thing. It could be some particular person. You're trying to take it along with you because you feel like it for whatever reason that it's something that you need. And so it's it may be something that you've had in your life and the blessing of the Lord is not on that thing, but you felt like you've needed it for whatever reason. And you haven't, part of the reason why you haven't wanted to let it go is because of what you have already invested there. So you have already invested your time. It could be your time. It could be your energy. It could be your effort. It could be your resources. It could be a financial investment. You have already invested a lot financially into this particular thing. And you, even though part of you may even know that this thing isn't blessed by the Lord, you also, for whatever reason, feel like you need it. You feel like you need this thing or this person that you need to take it with you because 
because it's going to help you somehow because you don't want to let it go because you think that it's going to be necessary for you to gain the victory. But what the Lord wants you to know is that because this thing or this person is not blessed by the Lord, that by taking it along with you, um, it's, it has the potential to get you off track. It has the potential to trip you up. You think it's going to help you. You think this thing or this person is going to help you that you're trying to drag along with you, but it has the potential. It's, it's actually going to trip you up. So you, you would have, you would be victorious without this thing. So by letting this thing go, you are going to be victorious. But if you keep trying to take it along with you, this thing that isn't blessed by the Lord, if you keep trying to drag it along with you, then it's going to hinder you instead of helping you. It's actually going to trip you up instead of giving you the victory um, that you think it's going to help bring into your life. And so... Um, what the Lord wanted you to know, and the thing that's going to give you the most freedom here is this. The Lord is able to give you much more than this. So whatever it is that you have invested into this thing, whether it be this thing that's not blessed by the Lord, um, whether it be money, whether it be time, um, resources, whatever it is that you've invested there that is making you also hesitant to, to let go of the thing, the Lord wants you to know that he's able to give you more and that by following God and doing it his particular way that he is showing you, the way that's blessed by the Lord, by following God and doing it his way, he's able to give you so much more. He's actually able, all the silver that you've already spent to hire this arm, these troops from Israel, everything that you've already invested in this thing that you're trying to take along with you because you think it's going to bring you victory, but it's not blessed by the Lord. Everything that you've invested there, whether it be finances, energy, effort, whatever it may be, the Lord is able to give you so much more and give that back to you. So you may feel like it's a loss. You may feel like you're taking a loss by letting this thing go. But you actually, the Lord will give you more through this process. So by letting this thing go, the Lord is going to give you victory. He's saying, let it go so you can have the victory that he will give you. And also that he's going to pay you back what you have spent there. It won't, you don't have to worry about everything you've invested being wasted because God can, has everything, all, all resources are his and he can give you so much more than you have already given there, than you have already given to that particular place, that particular person, that particular thing. All that you've invested there, the Lord is able to pay you back for. He has so much more. So he's saying, let it go. You can let it go. He's going to give you so much more and do it God's way. And you will be victorious that way, my friend. So I bless you with that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this word strengthens you and your inner man and your spirit, and you're able to go forth and have that victory in the Lord. And also look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.